Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we are going to be doing a quick little project. I have always wanted one of these John Deere um, oil filter tumblers. So you take a regular tumbler like this and then you make it look like an oil filter, put some oil running down it, stuff like that. This is a 30 ounce tumbler I got off of Amazon. But the first step we need to do is make this green. So I'm going to get this thing painted green as you can see here. John Deere green, pretty basic. Just bought some magic tractor paint from Tractor Supply. So what we need to do next is go inside to the computer. I'm going to be using the Silhouette app that you use to uh, cut stickers out on those little Silhouette machines. I'm sure some of y'all know what I'm talking about, but uh, we're going to go draw up something on there real quick and uh, get this thing cut out. So I went ahead and cut a 10 inch by 12 inch piece of yellow vinyl. Um, the sticker I drew up, I changed it a little bit since what y'all saw last, but y'all see it once I get it cut out. Um, just mainly the font. But the sticker is 10 inches by 9 and a quarter. So I cut the vinyl a little bit bigger so we could get it to fit on there for sure. I'm going to have my mom help me stick it on here. So this is the transfer sheet. Let me get the corner up here first. Okay, that corner's good. Get to this corner. My side's good. Lay down flat. You want to make sure this is really flat because this is the part that goes through your machine. We got it pretty good on there. I'll probably scoot it a little bit over on the screen because whatever you see here is what where the arrow is on your screen. There's an arrow and it tells you exactly where what's going to be cut out and where it's going to be cut out. So what I'm going to do next is, um, like I said, I'm going to scoot the design over a little bit on my computer. And then I'm going to put it in the Cameo machine, and I'll let y'all watch it be cut out. was able to get all the letters picked apart. The only thing I'm worried about is this little details on the A, R, and the P. I'm scared they're not gonna transfer over, but what we're gonna try to do next is put it on some transfer paper, and then we will stick it to the cup. So we have now got the logo on there with the transfer paper. The last thing we need to do is take off this transfer paper, which is probably the most nerve wracking part because your letters like to come off with it. So let's get right to work. And that's gonna be a wrap to this video. Thank y'all for watching. So I think the cup came out looking really, really nice as it is. I know at the beginning of the video, I said I was gonna do the oil running from the top. And I think that would be just too much on the cup. I think it'd kind of clutter it. Um, like I said, it came out looking really good how it is right now. Uh, even the fine details on the A's and the R and the P stuck. So very happy about that. The next thing I need to do with the cup is clear coat it. Now I suggest, not using clear coat like this if you're going to actually drink out of the cup. I don't drink out of these cups. I use a straw. I mean, I don't drink directly out of the cup. I use a straw. Um, if you want to drink out of the cup, you want to use some kind of food grade, safe, clear, or something. I just use high gloss uh, lacquer. Works just fine. I'm going to do four coats of it on here, and it will seal the vinyl. But um, other than that, Thank y'all for watching. Please like and subscribe. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.